Funny car is fired. Jack Beckman and Gary Densham. DSR car for Jack Beckman. Here's the ladder for you, presented by Lucas Oil. Mike Neff, Courtney Force will face one another. John Force Racing Cars. You got uh, on the line right now. This is a good matchup. Gary Dentham and Jack Beckman. I, I, you got to love Gary Dentham. He just comes out once in a while, but I mean, he's been doing this for a long time. You probably watch him growing up here in Southern California, like I did. Oh, yeah, and he's out here doing it and, and, and putting that 410 down first round. What a great run, and he only comes out a couple times a year, and to see him run a 410, that's, uh, that's hard to do when you're out here for the full tour. You got to love the cute little story he just told me. Another Caribbean vacation on a cruise ship with his wife, Joanne, in the offseason. Something he thought he would absolutely hate. But he said to me, David, drag racers have such short attention spans. Cruising is the only way to go. You go to bed, wake up in a different port, go see that city, rinse, repeat. That's why Gary Ditchum loves to go cruising. <laughs> One way to look at it. <laughs> you go on a cruise this winter? No. <laughs> <laughs> a little busy, you say. I'm looking for sponsors for anything. If somebody <laughs> wants to sponsor me for a cruise, we'll go on a cruise. <laughs> almost well probably did touch oh yeah but oh my goodness yeah you see damage. damage on the front of the x car and this damage here that was frightening wow 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 that's uh gosh that was close uh yeah there's a little what? gary's car there what do you think caused that mike <laughs> got away from right there it's uh going down there whoa oh. man it just it didn't look like it spun the tires that hard. I mean, it might have got loose, but it didn't look like it was hard yeah, enough was to cause that night. much. Yeah, I mean, I it, boy, it might, you know, it possibly could have broke, a, you know, an axle or something in the drive. Uh, or the header broke I or mean, something. it made a, yeah, that's a hard move. I mean, wow. I something happened there. That'll get your attention. And you don't see, uh, yeah, I mean, it hazed the tires there, but it was already making a move. That was a plenty hard move. It moved pretty quick there, and then Dentrum just kind of kisses him. Actually, the damage from Jack's car was from that styrofoam from block. block. Yeah. yeah. Again, Gary Dentrum is the winner as Jack Beckman climbs out, and Don Schumacher looks at it down track. That was a very frightening moment. I mean, you're you're talking touching one another at around 290, 300 miles an hour. Go to Gary Gerald. Gary, let me turn you over here toward the monitor and you get a chance to take a look at what's happening. He's pulling the safety gear off first. He climbed out of the cockpit, looked at the nose and said, wow, that was scary. Talk us through it, Dench. I don't know. I mean, you know, we were both on a really good run and I just saw Jack out there. I was about ready to lift because trying to save some parts and all of a sudden there he was. I tried jerking it back and he came over and obviously it didn't quite work out for real well for either one of us. But uh yeah, that was close. It was really, really close. You are the winner. You're going on to the semifinals. Yeah, I hope we can fix it. I've got Jack Beckman coming over here. We'll get a quick word with him as well. He's working his way from the other side through a tangle of crew members. Jack, tell us about that adventure. Yeah, well, you know what they say about drag racing is it's a non-contact, non-drafting sport. And I'm telling you, I don't know what happened. Uh, we're going to have to look at this thing, see if there's some oil on the tires. It just made a right-hand turn, and you can't get the wheel yanked that fast. And I was just hoping Gary wasn't that close to me. From the video, it sure looks like he was. Certainly wasn't what we were trying to do with the Valvoline Next gen car and it felt like I was marching up to that point it's frustrating we're not going to get to rerun no matter how much it hurts we got another race in a week we'll fix the body and go back and see if we can't put this thing in the winter circle but uh, apologize to Gary and his crew all right thanks Jack well you can see on those other shots it definitely did get loose out there but the car was as Jack said was definitely on a good run it might have possibly got a little bit of fluid that, that helped it get a little more sideways and make a quick move because it was a pretty quick move but wow Hey, we're, we're in L.A. There's traffic, right? 